This hook is going to eat away at my brain like a zombie. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Purple Kiss is back. Their second mini album after their debut. Man, I am so in love with this group that I'm ecstatic for this comeback. I'm gonna listen to this album today. No waiting. That'll happen on Patreon along with their live stages, but I'm just I'm just thrilled that they're back. This this group, as I said yesterday with Stacy, sky's the limit. Their potential is just insane. They're such good vocalist dancers, they have great charisma, they are meant for like variety shows, everything I've seen them on, very similar to like Dreamcatcher vibes where they just thrive with that. Ah, I can't wait. And I love the aesthetic. Keep the horror creepiness stuff like you had a, that with Punzonia and their Into Violet album. And clearly you have it here with um, Hide and Seek and Zombie, the title track, which pretty sure uh, was primarily written by Yuki. And she actually has a ton of credits on a lot of their songs. But uh, just the self-producing angle that we're doing nowadays with idols, love to see it. So... Let's get to it. Purple Kiss with Zombie. We're going to be running through this one twice, like for a fact. I'm going to try and not pause at all the first time. Let's do it. Oh, no. oh. The two tone hair of Dosi looks so good. Oh, Yuki has such a great tone and flow. Jin. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so in love with Golden's pants. Oh my god, that is going to be stuck in my head. This whole MV is dripping with style. Oh my god, why does Yuki look so mature after just a handful of months? Take it back. <laughs> oh. This blend of sassiness with a cute horror aesthetic. This duo. Yes, the callbacks. Go on high note. Oh, this is so freaking catchy. June with the dark hair, can't be topped. Ede's, Ede's cheeks are extra poofy today. Oh. Okay. On first listen, I'm so in love with this. Why did that look like Jay? Day six. 
okay yeah so in love with that on first listen this song is way more uh like digestible and easy to get into than Ponsonia, which i thought was a really bold choice for a debut track it has a strange structure strange tone to it uh it, it, it's definitely a weird one for debut i like that bold take i like the experimental stuff and also it's like was swan's baby and just so very cool that you can debut with that but as a new group you need to come out with these songs especially your title tracks obviously that are far, far reaching that the mainstream audience is going to latch onto, and i think this one uh is perfect for that i loved everything about the song the aesthetic there's a lot of fan service stuff in there it's if we're, we're watching this again then i can pause and talk all that i like uh I, I i really really enjoyed this a lot and i cannot wait to see the live stage and just the rest of the album they oh, oh this is just done so well props to rainbow bridge for a great video as well this hook is going to eat away at my brain like a zombie. All their outfits, you know this? So, as I said, that it's like horror adjacent because, yeah, you have all the horror elements, but it has such a silly sassiness to it. It's like if horror was done by Nickelodeon in a party city or something. So many like heavily oversaturated colors and pastels everywhere. God, Swan's voice is unreal. Listen, listen, this is a girl coming in. She didn't speak any Korean and suddenly she's writing all this shit herself and do not be surprised if Yuki is one of like the fastest growing, like most impressive from start to, you know, mid career rappers out there because she's already very impressive. And this is someone who, you know, learned Korean not that long ago. <laughs> Jeez, Jin looks so great, even with the, uh, out the iconic hair. The kiss of death. I love that. The, the little accents of cutesy thrown in. Come on now. And I'm hearing Shayan a lot more too, which I really appreciate compared to Punsonya. Oh, what is yeah, what is all this here? B for brain, B for bear? That's eviscerated. B for zombie. Talking about like the Nickelodeon styling, green toilet. She's gonna be so many people's favorites, I swear. If you're new to Purple Kiss, like, uh, hmm. Yuki really is owning this video. I think going as well, but, hmm, man. <laughs> <laughs> Best offer, buy one, get one free. Fresh heart and brain. Oh, that's so nice. These two are paired together a lot. I love them both. They're I think both of them sometimes just get underrated sometimes. Um maybe it's because of less lines. I don't know what, but they're fantastic. They're so good. <laughs> She is the oldest. Oh. I'm sorry I'm pausing so much, but there's so much to look at. It's why if any of you are talking about the lyrics, I'm not really paying attention much 
there's so much visually going on and I'm kind of regretting maybe getting the pink cover the the seek version instead of the hide version because the green outfits look so good on them especially June here whoa I think these are the outfits of the pink and these are the green ones they have like ATC tank Dangerous duo. Chain the all arounder. Yes. Oh my God, they all look amazing. And this is way different, like, enough in style to Sunmi's more recent release that they're going to stand out. Oh, that two-tone hair really looks good on Tosi. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm just hyped up because they're one of like my favorite up and coming groups. The only group that I've ever been with um, since pre-debut. But I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I'm completely in love with this. Everything from, yeah, the styling, the song, the video, it's all so well done. All these outfits, they look incredible. They sound incredible. Oh God, we, I don't know. Sometimes I just want to give props because we hear so much about just people complaining about companies this, company that, and I just, when when you have such an amazing comeback here and everything looks so fantastic, I just want to be, you know, you can't always complain. Be the one that gives a little bit of props. Streamer Bridge did them right here. It's a solid comeback um, and it's really, really well done. I love the song. I want to be like a spearhead for them because for those of you that maybe haven't gotten into Purple Kiss yet or don't know them well enough, um, they have just such good music and they're so talented. All the covers that they do, they're so incredibly likable from, you know, we've watched uh, like, uh, uh, what is it called? Literally Purple Kiss and uh, Perky Holiday on Patreon and they're just so, so much fun. I want all the success in the world for these girls. So um, yeah, sorry if I'm rambling a bit, but I, I'm going to be totally biased in this because I really love this group. So great comeback, amazing song. Please let me know what you thought. Maybe you have a more uh, of an unbiased take than me, but uh, I just I just think everything about this package is brilliantly executed, and I cannot wait to get my damn album. Maybe I should have just ordered both of them. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for checking out this video with me. Like I said, let me know what your thoughts are. If you want to see more Purple Kiss content, there's a ton on Patreon, including you know literally Purple Kiss. Uh, Perky Holiday, some uh, live stages, some covers on there, other performances. We're going to be checking out the, the new album today, as well as Into Violet is already on there. So, yeah, uh, it's a it's a perky world, and we're, we're just living in it, man. Literally every single frame of this video could work as a thumbnail. It It's just so well done. Every, every single frame. Look, look at this. We could literally click on any, any frame of this video, and I'm sure I could find an excellent thumb. So well done. Thank you guys. Check out my other Purple Kiss reactions down below in the playlist in the description, and I'll see you next time.